Welcome to Living with Ease Meditation Series, Meditation 33, entitled Digging Deeper in December. We have arrived at the final four of 24 countdown days. Everyone's schedule is becoming increasingly hectic and Christmas is fast approaching. For that reason, I have condensed the remaining meditations and will conclude with a Christmas song in holistic frequencies for my spontaneous Christmas keyboard collection recorded in 2012. Living with Ease Meditation 33 brings us to several powerful truths from Luke chapter 21, pertinent to now. I conclude with my spontaneous holistic frequency infused Holy Spirit inspired instrumental piece, Beholding Jesus. Luke 21 verses 1 through 4 begins with the widow's offering. Listen to me, he said, the poor widow has given a larger offering than any of the wealthy. For the rich only gave out of their surplus, but she sacrificed out of her poverty and gave to God all that she had to live on. In Luke 21 verses 5 through 19, Jesus teaches about the signs of the ends of the age. Beginning in verse 8, Jesus responded, Deception will run rampant, and many will appear on the scene, saying, I have sent them, or saying about themselves, I am the Messiah. These doomsday deceivers will say, the end of the age is now here. But listen to me, don't let any of these imposters fool you. There will also be many wars and revolutions on every side with rumors of more wars to come. Don't panic or give in to your fears for these are bound to happen. This is still not the end yet. Jesus continued, there will be upheavals of every kind. Nations will go to war against each other and kingdom against kingdom. There will be terrible earthquakes and seismic events of epic proportion that result in famines in one place after another. There will be horrible plagues and epidemics, cataclysmic storms on the earth and astonishing signs and cosmic disturbances in the heavens. But before all of this happens, you will be hunted down and arrested, persecuted by both civil and religious authorities and thrown into prison. And because you follow me, you will be on trial before kings and government leaders as an opportunity to testify to them in my name. Yet determine in your hearts not to prepare for your own defense. Simply speak with the words of wisdom that I give you in that moment. And none of your persecutors will be able to withstand the grace and wisdom that comes from your mouths. You can expect betrayal even by your parents, your brothers, your relatives and friends. And yes, some of you will die as martyrs. You will be hated by all because of my life in you. But don't worry, my grace will never desert you or depart from your life. Stand firm with patient endurance and you will find your soul's deliverance. There's a lot in that verse that sounds like a lot of what we're hearing in the now, seeing in the now, but take heed, be discerning. We need to be discerning what source is the word that we're hearing. Who is the source of the word that we're hearing? Because there are only two sources, light and darkness, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of darkness. So be discerning in this hour. We need to be intimate with Father and Son and Holy Spirit so we have the spirit of discernment to know what's correct and what is incorrect in what we're hearing and seeing. Jesus continues in Luke 21 verses 20 through 24 about the destruction of Jerusalem. Continuing in verse 25, expect to witness amazing and perplexing signs with the sun, the moon, and the stars. I think we've been experiencing some of that in the past several years. The raging of the sea will bring desperation and turmoil to many nations. Earthquakes will bring panic and disaster. What men see coming to the earth will cause the fear of doom to grip their hearts, for they will even see the powers of the heavens shaken. And at last, when you see how the Son of Man comes, surrounded with a cloud, with great power, and great miracles in the radiance of his splendor and with great glory and praises. It will make you jump for joy for the time of your transformation has arrived. 
Jesus compares these signs to a fig tree in Luke 21, verses 29 and 30. Haven't you observed that when the fig tree or any tree buds and blooms, the season is changing and the summer is near? In the same way, when you see these prophetic signs occurring, you realize the earth is yielding to the fullness of God's kingdom. I assure you, the end of this age will not come until all I have spoken has come to pass. Earth and sky will wear out and fade away before one word I speak loses its power or fails to accomplish its purpose. Jesus' instructions to his disciples concludes with an exhortation to guard our hearts. His exhortation to us this December 2023 is stated in Luke 21, 34 through 36. Be careful that you never allow your hearts to grow cold. Be careful that you are not caught off guard or your hearts will be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and the worries of this life. And that day will come upon you suddenly like a trap. Don't let me come and find you drunk or living carelessly like everyone else. For that day will come as a shocking surprise to all. Keep a constant watch over your soul and pray for the courage and grace to prevail over all these things that have been destined to occur and that you will stand before the presence of the Son of Man with a clear conscience. We are called to occupy until that day. In 2024, we can expect and anticipate exciting a rise and shine in the midst of the deep darkness, occupying the abundantly blessed. Thank you.